Hello my friends, welcome back. I am popping on today to do a layout for Challenge Accepted where all month long Scrappy Kathy and I are playing along with Scrap Timber. And we have a prompt for each day and there's a couple sketches here and there. I think on the 22nd we have a sketch, but let's start with the first. Our prompt today is stitching. So this is the dealio. We're gonna do stitching. I think I'm gonna mat a a border and then just stitch around it with some machine stitching because the collection I'm using has some black and I have black in my machine. Yes, it's kind of laziness, but it'll work. So I recently, as in this past weekend, received this picture from my daughter. Her and the Nick were at a country music concert in New Jersey and she was wearing this swim top and I thought it would be great to go with this Simple Stories America the Beautiful collection. This collection and the other goodies I have with it, by the way, by the who, are uh, the July 2022 uh, Scrap Room Flavors of the Month. So I'm trying to use some of my stash. Now, this is a 4th of July kind of collection, yet this isn't a 4th of July layout. So what I'm going to do, I think, with a bunch of scraps, because I've used this kit a lot, is I'm also going to punch a bunch of hearts with some of my scraps. I do know there's a big flag heart that is um, in this cute little Simple Pages kit. So what I have to do is figure out, let's see, do I want to go like this and have this yellowy color? I think so because my scraps in the hearts will really show up on it. I just have to figure out what, oh, I like that pattern paper with this a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mat this piece here called Elements 2 on two, on top of, let me see, oh, those flowers are pretty cool too. All right, but the bandana thing is way more country concert. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, mat this on here. I'm going to gut this paper out and use black stitching to stitch around the outside, which will take care of that prompt. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna punch out a bunch of the scraps together. All right, I have my stitching on, right? Then what I want to do is I have to map my photo just like 3000 times, not a big deal. And then I'm gonna start punching stars, I'm sorry, hearts out of my scraps first. So let me map my photo really quickly. Then I'm going to start punching out the hearts and I'm just going to do a band design across this whole area with them. And they're going to just come off of this big heart. I think that would be really fun. My photo will be popped up on some dimension. So time to map that and then use my scraps for goodness. Now I have this whole sheet here if I don't feel like I get enough scraps out of this. But let's see how it goes. Give me a minute. So this is a basic idea. I'm kind of coming up with how it's gonna go because I want this big heart to be here as well. So maybe I'll move a few pieces around. This one's gonna get popped up, but I'm gonna have all of these little guys on the flat side. But I am digging the vibe I have going here. And I think I want my hearts to go off a little bit as well. Now there are these little stars on the bottom here, you know, in really nice, straight line. So at least all of my bottom pieces and all of my top heart pieces will be lined up. So I have that going on. Oh, by the way, I have all Three of these. Boards. Oops. <laughs> I was watching a Netflix show and it turned on. So I have a bunch of enamel dots. I haven't used any of them. So I'm going to use a bunch of them. And what else do I have here? I am wondering, okay, USA, I can totally use for my title. What else is in here? Having a blast works. They were at a concert. Oh my gosh, I can grab out these little banner pieces too. And maybe some can hang off the bottom. So this will totally work for this country concert. Actually, you can see on Nick's wrist. See, he has a little tiny concert bracelet on. So this, this uh, collection is totally going to work for this country concert. Red, white, and blue totally works. 
Oh, and actually this little pinwheel, is that what it is? Is that what they're called, pinwheels? I'm not quite sure. Then I'll be able to grab some wordy bits. So I'm going to faff around trying to get these hearts all attached down. Now the question I have is, are they showing enough or do I put a little ink on it? But I don't always love ink on um, summer pages. Okay, I'm gonna just put them down. Hopefully you can tell their hearts. And this is already up on some foam adhesive. Let's see. And I'm going to just go ahead and get my whole background on. I'm also going to see if I can use these banner pieces. Ooh, I love that having a blast. I think that would be a great title. So having a blast will be my title. Fourth of July, not going to work for this because... This was in August. Here's these little guys that I was saying, aren't these just cute? Oh yeah, I can have those hang. Okay, I'm excited where this is going. Let me get all of my hearts attached down and we can do some decorating. So I have these pieces on and I'm liking the vibe. I've got this band design, I've got all of these hearts and I was doing this with my title and then I saw it right here and I love it. So that's where my title is gonna go. The white really pops off nicely. And I was excited about the banner pieces. So I'm gonna do the one that I'm pulling off the backing right here. And it has this little banner on it that reads red, white, and blue and also has the hearts. So I think that is definitely Z ticket for me. Let's see. I want to get it pretty close to my photo. I may cut these bits off. I don't know yet. We're going to see. All right, I have that. Let Freedom Ring is pretty cool. I don't know if we're using it or not. Not going to use the fireworks. Let's see. Not going to use this other banner piece. I've got these cute little stars and little asterisk fireworky things, which I can sprinkle here and there. So that's what I have from that bit. I don't know, that doesn't do anything for me. So I'm getting rid of the things from the, the uh, simple pages kit that I don't think I need. Now, I have all of these great pieces for my sticker sheet. So let's see what oh i really liked this this little dealio here so i can pop that up on a couple of foamy bits and stick that in the side so yeah this is where i am at i pretty much just threw this together way quicker than i thought it would go i'm gonna go like this have a cute little propeller pinwheel right there you know, I think I need to pop it up on just a little, like on one more layer of adhesive. So I'm gonna see what else I can stick on here. I will come back and we'll do enamel dots together. So I have these little bits and pieces are, oops, a little dot attacked me. So I have these little bits and pieces on a bit of a diagonal. And now I just wanna go ahead and Snuggle some enamel dots in these clusters as well, just for fun. No good reason why. None whatsoever. It's just that I like all of the different textures with these goodies. All right, I'm going to put these on, and I forgot. I wanted to see if I had any flare that really had this vibe, so I'm going to do that as well. I will have still shots in just a moment, as well as Scrappy Kathy's channel, as well as the playlist for Scrap Timber. So still shots to follow, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back ever so soon with another video.